Hi, everybody. Welcome to uh, the Coach's Corner on Juice. And, and thank you all for covering all of our Greenville kids and uh, giving me a chance to come and let some of them uh, visit with us and talk about some of their success this week. And producer Matt, hey, we've got some really outstanding young uh, players today. And so uh, we're starting out with this week's Penny Perkins State Farm Player of the Week for baseball. Bryce, introduce yourself to our Lion fans. My name is Bryce Samples and I uh, play baseball. And, and and just a sophomore, and so let's talk about that sophomore on the varsity. Um, kind of, how do you feel about that? How's that success coming around? And I know you started off injured, and so it's kind of taking a little time. But you know, just talk about that. How do you feel? Just makes me want to play her, knowing I'm playing with older kids. Yeah, stand out. Well, and step it up and match that level and obviously it's working uh, you know I mean as player of the week this week I know you've had some success and so um, let's talk about that what all positions are you playing right now let's just go through some of that say in first base most time yeah and a few occasions I'll play third and pitch a lot too all right well I mean like kind of all-around athlete I know you can do that and uh you know swinging the bat um, I know last home game I saw you I mean put one to the wall. So, I mean, we're looking for some more of that. I know district's just getting underway, but before we do that, I know you got a lot of people at the game, Bryce. And give a shout out to family, everybody, and, uh, and take care of that. Give a shout out to my family, my mom and dad, probably my biggest supporters I got. Do you say the loudest? No, the biggest, I mean, I say we love that. And uh, so, uh, but yeah, no, we hear them at the game. And uh, who else is here? I got my grandma, my little brother, my little sister too. There you go. So we got the whole samples uh, cheering crowd, uh, you know, going on in the rooting section. And so, um, and we're in the middle, you know, just kind of getting underway in district play. And it's a really tough district. Uh, we're going to be home um, tonight. I know the show sometimes, but uh, we have Lovejoy this week. And I know they're good. How do you feel going into uh, playing them back to back? I feel like it's going to be a good competition. But I know us, we can, we can put up a fight too. And, and that's it. I mean, you know, we know the great level of play and we've already you know kind of open district play playing really close uh, with the McKinney North team that, that's one of the favorites and so you know we know every night it's gonna be a battle but good luck we're gonna be out there cheering and so um, what about let's you know talking about baseball it doesn't just happen overnight how long have you been playing baseball? I've been playing baseball my whole life pretty much. Pretty much you started walking and dragging a bat and then all of that right I mean and so uh, where did you start playing? Here uh, in Greenville with the youth sports? Mm -hmm. Playing with the Y League. Yep, yep, I know. And then uh, what about um, any select teams or things like that that you're playing with right now? Give them a... Elite over there by the community. Good, and that's kind of a mix of a lot of area players. Um, and so, and it does. I mean, it takes a lot of playing. I mean, I know it's almost year round. and. And that's a lot of travel tournaments. That's a lot of, you know, all that. And so all of our parents that are involved with uh, with our students and playing sports, that's a lot that they have to put in. And so, well, baseball we know is going great right now. Let's back out of that just for a little bit. What about, um, let's just give a shout out to a favorite teacher or favorite class or something going on in school. Uh, I'd probably say my favorite teacher is Mr. X. Mr. X, yeah, down in the, in the, like with welding and all that kind of. So, um, what's your favorite thing to do down there? It's like building stuff and welding it. There you go. Now that's country right there. So building stuff. I mean, it is. And so, what a great program! Shout out to Mr. X. Thanks a lot. Hard to say your name. That's why we all say Mr. X. But what a great program that they run. All of our all of our career and technical uh, programs and our ag program all doing so great. Um, and so. What about, what about other than baseball? You know, I know that takes up a lot of time, but what other stuff has Bryce got going on? So going out. <laughs> going out, yeah, like so if you and your friends or baseball teammates or whatever, if y'all are hanging out, where's a, where's a place y'all are likely to go eat or just hang out? Pretty much go eat anywhere. Mm. I go fish too. But now fishing, there you go. So see, now that's country right there, Bryce. You talk about being teenage from Greenville, you say you'll eat anywhere and then do a little fishing, hanging out. Y'all got a pond at the house that you catch a few fish in, right? Yep. Yeah, see, there you go. It doesn't get much more country than that. And that's and so what about, um, so we know right now, just a sophomore, got a lot of things going on. Um, what about this summer? More baseball, I'm sure, um, going on. More travel ball going on. I mean, yeah, and, and that's what it takes, you know, to have this level of success. It takes a lot of commitment. A lot of hard work that I know y'all are uh, 
that y'all are putting in. And so, um, all right, Bryce, how about this then? If you're, what's a little more nerve wracking? You've got a huge pop fly over the first base. I mean, it's way up there. Or a line drive that you've got to try to dive and snag. What's, what's a little, what's harder? Probably say the pop fly. <laughs> Just because a lot of time to think about, a lot of time. And uh, so, but anyway, I always, you know, and so, man, keep doing what you do. I know we're off to a great start this season and, you know, got a lot of work to do in district with, with all the good teams we're playing. Um, so if we play your playlist right now or your pregame playlist, maybe to get ready. Um, how about this? I don't know if we had walkout songs, but if you had a walkout song, what would it be? Have you thought about it? No, too many, right? So if we push play on your music right now, what's on there? Mix of country and rap songs. Mix of country and rap right there. Well, that's a great mix right there. And Bryce is a great mix right now. Great student, uh, great athlete. We're looking forward to all the great things you're going to keep doing. And so, um, Bryce, we always ended up with the last thing. Are you a high fiver or a fist bumper? More of a fist bump. More of a fist bumper right there. Y'all, if y'all see Bryce out in the community doing great things and playing baseball, hanging out, eating anywhere, or maybe fishing, give him a fist bump. He's a great kid. For more than a year now, the Juice Roundup program has helped neighbors in need by you giving just a little. We still need your help to help those who need it. And there are three ways you can choose to participate. One, commit to rounding up your bill to the nearest dollar and donating one cent to 99 cents per month. Two, choose a recurring set amount contribution. Three, choose a one-time set amount contribution. The Juice Roundup program is easy to participate in and has the ability to make a huge impact on someone else in our community. Your ability to help is the only thing that matters. Hey, welcome back to Juice and Coach's Corner, and I'm here with another one of our outstanding student athletes at Greenville High School. And so, congratulations to this week's Penny Perkins State Farm Player of the Week for soccer. And so, Miranda, introduce yourself to our uh, Lion fans. Hi, I'm Miranda. Uh, and, um, and so, what grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade. Okay, sophomore, class of 25. My daughter's a class of 25, so shout out to y'all. Uh, what position do you play? I play anything in defense and defensive midfield. Okay, all the way across the back row then a lot. And so, a defender, now do you, what about like on corner kicks or anything, you get up there and get a chance to score goals or are you always kind of staying nah, back playing defense? I'm, I'm always staying back. Yeah, okay. Well, and I grew up as a defensive coach, so defense is always important. And so, and I know that was a big uh, big key to a lot of success that y'all had this year. And, and we started out so big, won the Cattle Mills Tournament and all that, had a lot of great success. But I know it didn't just happen overnight. How long have you been playing soccer? I've been playing soccer for around seven years. Seven years then. So you were barely bigger than the soccer ball. You're out yeah. there kicking it around. And so um, just playing at home with family or, what, or playing uh, with the city league? How'd you start? Uh, I played in the city league and then I moved to rec and then I moved to select and then I quit select and then I And then we jumped into Greenville High School. Now you're our select team and we're going to keep you know, but <laughs> all right, so just a sophomore, um, got a lot more, um, you know, two more years to go and, and all of that. And so um, what about um, other than soccer, any other sports or things at school that you're involved with? I'm in flashes. Oh, good. All right. Good. Congratulations Thank then. You. I know y'all just uh, tried out and all that, so that's uh, that's fun. That'll be a big thing. Uh, uh, looking forward to that next year. Go Lions. Well, I'll, I'll be there coaching. I can't wait to uh, get the season going. Um, what about, how about then, I know right now we've got fans. Um, give a shout out to family, friends, um, whoever's out there. Uh, shout out to my mom and my dad. Love y'all very much. Good, that's great, good. See, and that's one of the things that we love, Matt, about this show. You know, I get to bring some some really good athletes, but really great kids and, and introduce them to y'all. And so, um, what about, man, flashes in soccer? I know those are a big mm -hmm. commitment. I mean, you know, those flash practices start really <laughs> early in the morning. Right? And so, uh, and the same thing, you know, with all the, you know, the select and the club soccer, you know, all those things that you've done, you know, shout out to all the parents that help our kids get to, practices and events, it's a lot. I know as a parent and, and, and so all of that, but, but it's a big deal and we get to celebrate you now with the Lions. And um, All right, how about a, a favorite teacher or class, somebody in the building? Mm, Coach B and Coach Johnson, those are my two favorites. 
Okay, good. Shout out to Coach Bolanik <laughs> and Coach Johnson then. Um, those are, um, I know Coach Johnson is uh, science probably. Mm -hmm. Good, look at there, good. Shout out to uh, um, our coaches that are also good teachers uh, in the work that we do in the classroom. And um, let's see then, what about, well, let's just do some easy favorites then, some really okay. easy. Your favorite thing to eat, what's your favorite food? Mm, probably pizza. Probably what? Pizza. Pizza, you can't go wrong with pizza, right? I mean, you know, because there's so many different kinds and, and plus it's easy mm -hmm. and, you know, if you go by and get the hot and ready, I mean, I'm, it's literally hot and ready. What? How can be? Uh, but uh, pizza. What's your favorite place to go? Mm, in Greenville. Yeah. Um. Always shouting out to our Greenville people. <laughs> um, I don't know. Lots. Okay. Well, we'll. I mean, like there are like, lots of places, and so shout out to all of them. Um, you know, Peddlers. Peddlers is really good. CC is really good. Anyway, there's not a bad pizza. I mean, I eat pizza from everywhere, so it's uh, all good. What? Um, what about? Um, if you and your friends or your soccer teammates, or if y'all are hanging out, y'all are gonna go just go somewhere in Greenville. We're mm -hmm. gonna give a shout out to our local people. What's a great place to go hang out? Mm, probably the sports park. The sports park, mm -hmm. play a little volleyball, play yeah. a little soccer, just run around, met, swing on the on the <laughs> playground, right? And good, you can go ahead and admit it, it's for, it's for teenagers too, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. So, uh, you know, great place uh, here in the city that for, for our kids to hang out and have a, have a place to go and so, um, so I know just a sophomore right now, mm -hmm. you got a lot of things still going on, but you know, anything new, you're going to be kind of doing anything next year or any, any other programs that you're involved with? I, I got into cosmetology. So oh, that's, see, that's that. a good shout out cosmetology, yeah. a really big program here. And, uh, you know, like I said, me and producer Matt don't need a mm -hmm. whole lot of help, but <laughs> if we do, we know where to go. Uh, mm -hmm. um, so, um, what about any other plans? I know it's still kind of early, any college plans or anything yet? Um, I think I want to be like an orthodontist or a dental hygienist. Well, there you go. Oh my goodness, that's a great, that's a great profession right there. And and and, uh, and there's so many dang kids out there. You'll always be having some kids that need some braces. I know. I put three of them in there. So there's and there's a lot of money in it. I can tell you that much. So, uh, but now that's a great uh, career. I know you got a long time. We're not ready to get rid of you yet. Okay. And we got two more years of soccer, and we got flashes and and all of those things. Um, and so really looking forward to the next couple of years and, and as our soccer team keeps improving and uh, looking forward to next year. Um, we'd like to finish up with a couple of things though. Are you a fist bumper or a high five? Uh, high fiver. You're a high fiver right there. You see Miranda out in the community, <laughs> hanging out, eating pizza at the sports park, playing soccer, being a flaming flash. You said a fist bumper. High five. High five. I almost never <laughs> forget that. You give her a high five, she's a great kid. Conserving energy is important to us here at Juice. We even pay rebates when you buy energy efficient appliances. Your conservation helps all Juice customers. In the future, we will need to build new electric generators and this can be expensive. And with our population growing, we will need that power. That's why we give rebates for Energy Star appliances. So think about replacing your bulbs with super efficient LED bulbs or adding insulation to your attic. Together, we can help all Juice customers by doing our part. Check out our rebates online and remember, Juice is always ready to serve and assist you in any way we can. All right, I get to bring another outstanding student athlete to you today. And so congratulations uh, to our Penny Perkins State Farm softball player of the week. You've been here a couple times, so you know, you get a player of the week in so many <laughs> things, I gotta keep them straight. But Sydney, introduce yourself to our Lion fans. Hi, I'm Sydney. I play softball, volleyball. I'm a senior and yeah. And that's it. I mean, and so that's a lot of stuff going on. We're not going to just quit that or let's, let's talk about what positions in, in, in softball. Where all have you played? Where are you playing right now? Uh, pretty much just shortstop. Shortstop mainly right now. Yeah. You've pitched a little bit too, but right now just mainly shortstop. Yeah. No, no my little sister pitches. Oh, little sister. We'll see. Wrong there walker. Go, Wrong walker. I mean, there's so many of all. Who can keep them straight right there? Give a shout out to all your family, by the uh, way. Thanks, mom and dad, for raising me to be athletic and putting me in sports. And 
taking you to practices and games and tournaments and you know between really the two sports uh, you know that your two sports are so year-round kind of competitive that mm -hmm. there is I mean I don't know you ought to just count the numbers of weekends y'all were not going to a tournament and, and uh, we figured that out but you know shout out to all of our parents that invest in it and um, it is paying off. Mm -hmm. We know we'll give a shout out about it. We know you're going to school. Uh, tell everybody where you're going again and what you're doing. I'm going to Tyler Junior College and I'm going to play volleyball there. All right, go Apaches, right? Yeah. I think so. Look at that. I mean, that's an East Texas school and so good. That's close by where, uh, where all of your family can go mm -hmm. see and then you can still come back and see your sister play and uh, all that stuff and keep that family tradition going. But um, well, let's talk about softball right now. Playing shortstop, that's a that's a big, uh, you know, it's a big responsibility, a big role right there. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, how long? I know you played volleyball pretty much forever. What about softball? Uh, how long have you been playing softball? Pretty much just started last year. And so, just jumped right in, and just that natural athleticism came in, <laughs> didn't it? Uh, and so, I mean, but you know that, and coaching, and, and getting out there and playing, and so. Um, how comfortable are you now? Like, if you step in the batter's box, all that, does it feel a little yeah. uh, better? Yeah, it took, it took some time, but. It did, like, I mean, those girls are throwing that ball fast. Yeah. I mean, what in the world, I'm used to, man, I played a whole lot of softball. They're supposed to be doing that, and the ball kind of comes real slow, you know, and you play it with the church league, that's kind of what, you know, but yeah. now it's very competitive, and you know, we talk about it all the time, whether it's volleyball, softball, it doesn't matter. Our district is really competitive mm -hmm. in every sport, and so, I know we're just kind of getting into district play, and so good luck the rest of the way. Um, I know we're going to be at home tonight. The show's yeah. a little bit, may not air at the same time, but, um, you know, game at home tonight, and so y'all keep it up. Good luck. And, um, and so, all right, outside, I know you've been on the show a couple times with, with different sports, and so um, give a shout out maybe to uh, a new teacher. I know you probably hit up a few of them, but a uh, mm. favorite teacher or class or something else in, uh, at, at Greenville High School? Probably Miss Austin. Miss Austin, what class is that? Uh, well, I have her for PALS, yearbook, teacher's aid twice. So pretty much what they're all day all right, long. So if you ever need Miss Austin, then you just get a hold of Sydney and she'll be probably taking care of that though. But yeah, she has so many good programs and especially PALS and all those things that, um, you know, yearbook is a big program, but you know, where you really get to give back to the kids and, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and you know, work with different levels uh, throughout Greenville. So that's a great program to be a part of. Um, what else do you have? What else do you have going on? I know, you know graduation and, and you know prom and another senior night, and so and we probably talked during volleyball. But you know, how does that feel different as a senior? You know, it is. It's, it's really getting close. Yeah, now. it's like it's crazy. I mean, it's like like coming down to like the last time. I mean, yeah, you got a lot of the last time. Yeah, you're gonna do some things, and so you know what. Well, and everybody's sad, and then parents are sad, and siblings are sad, and you're sad, yeah. and so coaches, but we're not sad yet. We got a while to go, but uh, but it really does get to be, mm -hmm. uh, you know what I mean? Because you've been here for, uh, you've been in, going to school in Greenville forever? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, good for you. Well, that's what I like right there. Homegrown, uh, came all the way up playing. I know you play youth sports here, mm -hmm. um, and in different levels with volleyball and all that, and so shout out to all of our youth sports programs and coaches around here that, that give y'all an opportunity to, to get to this level. But um, so how about this then as a senior that's been very successful, just give just give like a word of advice to whether it's your, you know, the juniors or whoever on the volleyball, softball team um, to kind of, you know, keep going, get better um, mm. and give them some, some Sydney advice right now. Uh, I mean, try your best always and always have a good attitude because attitude is like does a lot more than skill whenever you're playing a team sport. It, it does. That, that's, that's great advice because it is. You know, I mean, you've got to be coachable and you've got to be willing to, you know, try to do the things that you're being coached to do. And, and having a lot of natural ability helps as well. And so, but, um, you know, we're always so proud of y'all. You've come up through Green. We'll come up through our systems and, and play in sports. And, and we're looking for a lot of great things. What about your major in college? Um, Biology, maybe? Well, maybe. Lot, yeah, well, I mean, that's, and you got time to, you know, that, but biology, that's a uh, biology major. <laughs> that's a great way to go right there. And so, um, some people end up being doctors, some people end up mad. I don't know, being coaches. I don't know how that happened, but neither does my mom. So, but anyway, now we know you're going to do great things, and we're looking forward to it and close to home. And so, 
Stay in touch. Sydney, where do y'all like to hang out? You and all, all the friends. Panera Bread. Panera Bread, there you go. I was really kind of thinking it might be CC's, but that was probably a little more of yeah. a... That's a little more of a volleyball thing. <laughs> maybe the football boys, I don't know, you know. But Panera right there, great place to hang out, great place here in Greenwood. And so, all right, Sydney, you know how we ended up? Fist bump or a high fiver? Fist bump. Fist bump all the way. Y'all see Sydney out there just being a great leader in our community and being a great example for all of our girls that are coming up through our athletic programs. Give her a fist bump. She's a great kid. This video has been brought to you by Juice. Juice is your community-owned provider for electric, internet, cable TV, and true local programming.